Ooh, sheesh. Xavier, did you do a senior day last year at USF? No, sir. So, so what is it going to mean this week to kind of participate in that? Oh, it's going to be cool. Uh, you know, have my folks out here watch me uh, walk across the field and stuff like that. It's going to be sur a surreal moment knowing, like, this is my last home game in college football. So I just got to soak it all in and enjoy it. Are you looking forward to that, like, reception from the crowd? Because even though you've only been here for this one season, a couple months, you've obviously had a big impact on the program in this first year for Coach Prime. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I, ho I hope they give me a couple cheers, you know, a couple smiles, claps and stuff like that. But other than that, you get it over with and get ready to play the game. Zay, correct me if I'm wrong, but were you on the field for the first two drives? This no, sir. No, Why sir. was that? It was just some, some things I messed up with off the field, stuff like that. You know, I got to get my things back together. So just things like that hurt the team a little bit, but, you know, I got my stuff back right. Altogether, are you proud of the body work that you put together this season? I feel like I could do, I could do better, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm – I'm, I'm blessed, you know, I, 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 so far I got past my receiving yards the last two years, so, you know, I'm just going to keep on stacking from here. What would it mean for you to get this offense back on track in your last game at, at, CU, at home game at CU? It mean a lot, you know. Uh, you know, Coach said he wanted to finish 8-4. and four. Well, we can't do that without winning the game ahead. You know, we, we fell short last week, so, you know, we got to go 7-5, and five, man. So we just got to play every game one step at a time. Xavier, it's been a few weeks now, but you were named to the Bolitnikov watch list. What does it mean to you as a receiver to be named to such a prestigious list like that? I mean, it's cool. It's cool. You know, I was I was on the watch list last year, you know, just being able to have people um, notice me and stuff like that. But, you know, I want to go further than just the watch list. So, Do you feel like this offense is close to clicking and turning it around? Definitely. Definitely. We've been close all year. We just can't put it together. We just can't, like you said, we can't click for real. So, but it's, it's definitely getting close. We, we only got a couple more games, so we got to speed up the process. What's okay. the key to that happening? Practice. It all starts in practice. You know, we can't come out flat in practice and then expect to come out and click in the game. So we got to uh, treat practice like the game. Going back to those first few drives, what did you do to learn from whatever you did off the field and what the coaches do to help you move on from that? Uh, you know, I just just uh, really tell the next man, you know, be ready. You know, we got Omari on Miller, so it's not like we missed the beat. And it's in that sense. So, you know, I just got to be better, be better. I asked Coach Prime the other day about an NFL comp for you, and he went old school. He went Andre Risen. Who are the guys that you looked up to, and maybe who do you see in your own game? Uh, you know, I, I try to watch a lot of, like, Keenan Allen and stuff like that. You know, he's a real route runner, route technician, stuff like that. Um, I used to watch a lot of Odell, uh, a lot of guys like that, Larry Fitzgerald, you know, work on your hands, stuff like that, no, no dropping the ball, D-Hop. I mean, that's my that's my guy right there. So um, you know Deshaun Jackson, a lot of people, a lot of guys like that that pat, that paved the way before me. So, what did you see on the the last two touchdown drives you guys had that was allowing you guys to kind of get over the hump in that game against Oregon State? We was rolling. They couldn't stop us. You know we was we was um, on our tempo. Uh, you know when we go when we go fast tempo, a lot of people can't can't really mess with us. So we was just on our tempo and executing our, our routes and where we need to be at the right time. And the quarterback was able to find us. Seems like Shador is kind of will, willing to take more shots downfield and make let you guys try to go make a play. We saw a couple of defensive pass interference. Travis went up and made a catch. Is that something you guys are trying to tap into at this point of the season? Definitely. No, we, we try to tell coaches a lot. You know, um, when the ball's in there, we think more of like 80-20, not 50-50 ball. So we just need more opportunities down the field so we can show what we can do. And if we don't catch it, it's going to be a pass interference. So we just had to let the coaches know that, like, just give us a chance. Have you, what have you seen from this Arizona Last defense? question. Oh, they're physical. They, they, they like to get to that ball. You know, um, you make one miss, you better keep your hand on swivels and somebody else coming. The linebacker's real aggressive, stuff like that. The corner's real long. Um, D-line pretty solid. So it's just, it's a straight, it's a solid um, team we've got to face. Thanks, man. All right, thanks, thanks man. Appreciate y'all.